My girlfriend's blood is on my face, all because of you. When I'm done with you, your blood is gonna be all over this cave. You can bet on that. Okay, first, that was raw as frog. Second, FYI, the curse I used on you won't last long. I need wasp abdomen core to completely nullify the mind control. Used a crap ton of boom shrooms, and all I got was a tiny piece of flesh. He got a crazy hard exoskeleton then. Yes, we got little time. You said abdomen core? That means I have to kill it? <laughs> Don't tell me you want to spare it. To spare it? I'm about to commit a war crime here. Damn, we can't even get close. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Can you do a time bomb curse? <laughs> sure, sure, I got the shrooms and the new teeth. But I got materials for just one. What you thinking about? Cool. Make one as powerful as you can. You're throw it to me! Okay, but that won't work. You just saw how. I'm dying here, dude. Just do it! Here, go, frog yourself! Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> what next? I blew it, man! Are you froggy kidding me? Did you, why did you kick? <laughs> oh, frog me sideways! Are you okay? But yes. Boonshoy, are you hurt? <laughs> I'm fine. Please take air, okay? For real. Got any more curses? Told you that was the last one. <laughs> Alright, Anne. When did you learn you could curse your shoe? I do what? <laughs> it shouldn't have beaten that! You. You insignificant mites! I'm going to enjoy using your body to torture that blue dead wasp tongue. I think I got a little greedy on this continent. Really dead? Great. Enemy failed. That's easy top three hardest fights I've ever had. Marcy, that was, oh my gosh, so cool. Marcy, I'm so sorry. We know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Marcy, you activated your powers. Was I cool? Long green hair. <laughs> the coolest. <gasps> You're a natural. You activated them twice. When I first went calamity, I lasted like a minute. How did you do that? I don't know, man. But I feel like I fried my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. I'm proud of you, Marmar. You saved us all. What a clutch. By the way, you don't need the anti-mind control curse anymore for obvious reasons. Ah, Maddie, you two were great. You created the openings. Thanks for literally saving my throat. <sighs> what just happened? What am I wearing? Wally? I know that voice. Is that... You and <gasps> William! You are back to yourself! And Sasha! Good frog, what happened to you? The green girl! And you too, Maddie! It's been so long, loves! But how. how are you back? I too have so many questions for you. One sec. Where's my darling? You're who? Oh. This isn't the hotel? <gasps> Darling! William? Huh? <gasps> <laughs> Thank Frog, where were you? You went missing, and I went missing? And what in heavens are you wearing? You can't remember anything? 
no! I remember you! No, 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 I'm going first, darling! Wally Dates, come on! <laughs> all right, all right. This is Renee Rogers, my fiance. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> nice, very nice. Wally, this is Anne Savisha Boonshoy. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend. Okay. You two are together. I'm glad. <laughs> Wally, you dog. And you. Female dog. Whoa. Whoa. What was that for? W what? What is a dog? What did I say? Anne was your name. I used that senior frog to rob banks. Yeah, you got arrested. Hop Pop was an outlaw? Bro got layers. Mads. Where are you? This is some good stuff here. Harvesting the heck out of that wasp corpse? Oh yeah, good thinking. You need medical attention. But no, I used him, he had no idea. And I'm really sorry for that, I could never tell him I was. Hopefully he's still alive, I would like to apologize to him. What did you hear? Unshoi, he's okay! When I got thrown into the slammer for loitering, she had me play my concertina. And we instantly clicked. William also understood that arts are severely underpaid and underappreciated. <gasps> ooh, ooh. It feels so nice to finally meet someone who understands your struggles. He finds and performs at my movies, and I help by directing and managing his recitals. My music finally has reached now. Sounds like nepotism, but love is love, so whatever. As long as you two turned over a new leaf, I'm very happy for you two. Makes me happy I promised to keep him out of prison. Me too. Your commander expects wedding invitations. Don't leave me out. <gasps> I just want to sleep right now, but I need to hear more about how you met. You betcha. <laughs> but why are we speaking here? Let's go outside, don't you think? We gotta catch up. You lot are so tall now, my neck hurts. <laughs> sure, just let me. Excuse me! All frogs, toads, newts, and ohms. Please follow me to the safer area. Thank you! Questions will be answered at the exit. <laughs> Girl, this isn't an aquarium door. Hey, 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 hey! Paid this hotel and it was fake! We couldn't even stay for the night I got scammed! That was stole my snails! <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh. Hey, clown face! Have you seen my solder? Butt munch. Dumb wad. Crap stain. Uh. Ow! What did I even do to you? Have. You. Seen. My. Solder. Question. Mark. I don't know. What is a solder? This? Ah! How long have you been there? Ages. Ivy, give me that! Hmm, the stealth field is making that noise? Remind me to fix that. No, I like it! <sighs> you okay? What were you watching? Hmm? Hmm? That. Oh. We someday. It has to. Warning, this video mentions themes of struggling with mental health. If you are not okay with this, please go down to the comments down below and click the time scam to skip it. Enjoy the episode! I know, I know. It's just alcohol. Way better than an affection. Oh, I know! Wanna chew my hair? That usually calms me! Dude, what? And remember, you didn't see any one of us. Keep the secret, please. Do it for us. You really think they will keep their mouth shut? I believe in amphibian spirit. What about her inert? Nope, the green one was cool, though. I think her name was Barney. Loves, I would really like to stay and chat with you all night, but me and Renee should really get back to Ribbit Vale. Father must be worried sick. Aw, can't you call him from my phone? We both lost our phones on all that hotel nonsense. Ironic, isn't it? 
We depend on our phones to remember phone numbers. Can't blame ya. Being locked there must have sucked. Ow, Ew. mercy. No probs. We understand. Take care, you two. Same, you better kick those evil calamity guys arses or we don't have a wedding to invite you. I am willing to die for that cause. All for the shrimp. No, but seriously, save us. We don't want to die. See you around and good luck. Oh, one last thing. Nearest town is Pebble Ridge. That's all I'll say. What? what wait, what does that mean? What's there? What's life without cliffhangers? Ugh, theater kids. <laughs> Yo, hey Boonshoy, come come. I think we should start watching this anime together. Check this out. All right, so, damn, that guy's hot. <clears throat> so, how's the back? Not gonna lie, I've been better, but I think I'll live for another day. Sash, I, I am so sorry. It's all my fault. <laughs> Yeah, I know the lines. But you know it wasn't your fault. No need for self-pity. I forgive you. <laughs> Ow! I'm still sensitive. <laughs> and? You have no idea how I felt doing that. I was fully aware, you know. I felt like I was trapped in a straitjacket made of my own flesh, forced to watch as my fist pummeled you. It was me! I did that horrible thing to you! Oh god, I'm so sorry, and that was really insensitive of me. I, I downplayed the entire thing! It destroyed me, Sasha. It destroyed me seeing how I left you. Bloodied on the floor, all by my hand! Why? Why didn't you do anything to stop me? I don't want to hurt you. I know, but I was afraid that you would hate me and... of reviving those thoughts after hurting someone I care. Huh? <clears throat> After Marcy transported you back to Earth, I felt like the absolute lowest, worthless being in the entire universe. I ruined what was left from our friendship, that Marcy died and doomed the entirety of Amphibia. And there was no one left to apologize. The people I wronged were gone. I was alone with my guilt. Those days were dark days, Anne. There were times, several times, when, when I wanted to end my life. I beg you, don't tell anyone about this, not even Marcy. I swear, I, I swear I won't. The feeling of guilt was so consuming and I felt like I couldn't do anything for it. Marcy was probably dead, you were gone, and Andreas ravaged everything in his way. Results of my selfishness and desire to control everything. <laughs> Who could have guessed? In a way, I saw all I've caused, but even if I wanted to help, I felt powerless against him. <sighs> Until I arrived in Mortwood, you know the rest. Sasha, I had no idea. You had grime, but at the same time, you were alone. Sasha, I need you to promise me two things. First, if you ever have those dark thoughts again, please promise you'll let me know. Don't worry, I will. And I know you two are so sorry for what you did. You were mind-controlled. But I understand that you feel it was you. Rest assured, I 100% forgive you, if that makes you feel any better. Thanks. And second, if I ever get controlled again, and try to hurt you, Marcy, Maddie, or anyone else, promise me you'll put me down? Or at least break my arms and legs so I can't do anything. And uh, please understand that, Sash. I love you so much. You and a part of my heart. I get it. The things you've done to me and Marcy have left you in a deep emotional scars. But please, I don't want you to experience that anymore. Hopefully, we won't have to go through that again. But still promise me... You can do that for me. I... <clears throat> Alright. 
I promise. Ah, <sighs> thank you. I could have never imagined you had those <clears throat> thoughts. When you let go my hand and tow tower, I should have known. Have you seek professional help? I know you're a therapist and all, but... <laughs> yeah, of course. Therapist also needs therapists. I have a certain tendency to throw my life away for people I care. But hey, don't fret about that. I got reasons to stay alive. Biggest one is to protect you nerds and to stay by your side. And to a lesser extent, save worlds again. <laughs> have I told you I've always loved that giggle? <laughs> so goofy and cute. Sometimes I give for granted the fact that you've changed so much despite being brave and badass. Hearing about your old self feels like talking about a totally different person. That old Sasha Waybright is already six feet under. I want the Sasha Waybright who is worthy of a calamity goddess. <laughs> uh, Sasha! <laughs> I can't help it. You are my weakness, Ambunshoi. And you are my everything. Hey, uh, put back that anime while we wait for dinner. It looked interesting, plus I need light. Marcy tripped like five times walking here. Calamity Goddess shouldn't have blown up the moon. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Today, I went calamity mode for one minute and didn't feel burned out. Maybe short burst can be used to improve endurance. Pebble Ridge. Pebble Ridge. I don't remember being to that place. That's because it's new. They built it some years ago to act as a shortcut through Quarler's Pass. Too many accidents on the Slim Pass. <laughs> Somebody is out. So we're not passing through the Green City? Oh, what was it called? Ugh. Proteus. Just wrote it in my journal. Come on, girl. There you go, Proteus. Nah, it's still there, but it's a hassle to get down there. We got it easy this time with Pebble Ridge. I can't get it out of my mind. What's so important there that Renee had to tease <laughs> us with that? I don't know, but remembering how Sauce presented herself to them? A wedding chapel for Sasha and Anne, perhaps. <laughs> oh, ha <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know anymore. Seeing you in your green calamity hair makes me <clears throat> reconsider my romantic life choices. <laughs> what? What? I must confess. I have conflicted feelings right now because you were so. Whisper, whisper, Ma. whisper, Ma. whisper. <laughs> what did I do? She has a faint heart. Yeah, but her? <laughs> you should try that with the evil calamity trio. Make them yours. <gasps> Do you think I am? I don't know, uh, Black Widow. Step on them or something. Ugh, you little smart ass. Hey, you two, wake up. We still got road ahead. <gasps> it backfired in. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry, Marcy. I was just joking. I think I died. Again. So, I've been thinking on getting another tattoo. Well, technically two. Really? What you want? I want a couple heron swords on my right bicep, and a huge heron on my back, like spreading its wings. Your back? Ain't that gonna hurt? Like a mother frogger. Still, wouldn't that look badass? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but first, I want the swords. Hey, Maddie, you got any tattoo artist here? And your coppers, and I'll carve anything into you. That's not how it works. Wait, isn't amphibian skin more delicate and thinner than humans? Yep, we're more like pigs. There must be someone in Pebble Ridge who can paint my bacon. Luckily, I already have my artist. Me? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to draw the swords in the heron. You are the best artist ever, and I want to commission you. Aw, thanks, Sachi. <laughs> You're gonna look so cool. Oh, let's see. 80 coppers. No way. 
Hey, put some cloaks on, we're here. 75 coppers. OMG! This place is so cool! All terrain roaches for rent. Butt scratcher, right get your butt scratcher! Uh, this won't work. You got bigger cloaks. Like the ones Marcy and Anne have. I got a curse that turned you into a toad for a month. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Anne. Would you still love me if I was a toad? No. <gasps> I would. That's it. I'm dumping you for Marmar. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then I'll take Maddie. You can't handle me. Hmm? Huh? Huh? What was that? <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what in the? Oh, oh, the hotel food. Frog. Is that what awaits me? Dumping. <laughs> Where are you going? You're her girlfriend. I don't have to deal with this crap. These runs write themselves, dear frog. But I'm gonna buy something for Anne's stomach. Look after Marcy. Live journaling again, really? Get some medicine for me, too, just in case. Hmm, a pretty good trading hub you got here. How's the commerce with Proteus? What goods do they offer? Gems? Rare ore? Oil? I don't know, miss, but hard dogs are three coppers each. What are the exports and imports? Hmm? Hmm? Rule one, stay low, remember? Aww. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's just that I got excited when I saw what they built here. It's so lively. <gasps> Where is Ant? Obliterating a toilet? Say, we haven't talked about what happened at the hotel. What happened? You and Sasha. The kiss? Mm-hmm. Aw, that I didn't count. It was just in the cheek. I was thanking her. Didn't seem like it didn't count for me or Anne. Huh? If someone saw their significant other being kissed by someone else even on the cheek, they would start raising suspicions. Or jealousy. Oh no! Hey, hey, calm down. I didn't see any of those signs there. What do you mean? Well, for starters, Anne had a huge grin when she saw that peck on the cheek. And that's a normal reaction. Sorry, it may not come as surprising, but I'm really, really bad with romantic stuff. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I don't know how to respond to that. Anyways, no, that's not a normal reaction. I've seen frogs flip out when they found out their lover was just standing feet near their ex. Huh? And Sasha? She enjoyed it. <laughs> oh no! Oh my frog! Oh my domino! What do I do now? <laughs> Here's where the rookies fail. Some would say to go straight for a confession, big mistake. It usually ends up in disaster. Oh, no, 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 no disaster. The f Ugh, your cloak is on fire. Then what we should do is gather more evidence. Poke the nest one more time. When the time is right, we strike. Or even better, they strike first. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'm height. Let's do this. Let's silence the frog out of this. Sometimes, if you listen very carefully, you can hear my genius. But what scratcher? scratcher! Hmm. Where are those two? <gasps> Frog it. I am finding a hotel for us. <laughs> I'll take Marcy later. I just still don't know what we're supposed to see here. We can't pay anything without Maddie. You don't worry about that, I'll trade something. Or threaten them. You two, stop right there! I've received complaints of a tall, lanky newt on a cloak that destroyed the ridge entry bathroom, and I bet it's one of you! <gasps> Shut your trap! Grime? <gasps> Sasha?
for the tummy? Oh, hey, that's Grime! Yep. So, that's who we were supposed to meet. How long have you been there? A while. How can you still be as ugly as when I left? Please, <laughs> like, find my wine. I can see that. You got stronger, your hugs hurt. Thank you. I don't want to be that guy, but I think we should cry elsewhere. We are getting a crowd here. <laughs> and is right. Sorry. I've let my emotions take a hold of myself lately. Lately? <laughs> yeah, right. Grime, it's been a while. Masha, you are unrecognizable with that long hair and your height. Marcy, it's Marcy. Maddie, how have you been? Doing good. Casting curses and stuff. This is no place for talking. Come, let's go to the town hall. Hall? Yes? I am the Toad Delicate. Look at you all fancy smancy now. Don't get the wrong idea. I also travel all over Amphibia, kicking all kinds of ass. What about you, Sasha? Have you gone soft? You still packing heat? <laughs> you tell me, you old fart. <laughs> Excellent. It's from Polly, of course. A gift for my birthday. That's so froggy cool! I wish I had one. No, you don't! Okay, considering what you went through in that hotel, I'm not gonna press charges for the toilet mishap. Thank you. It's so embarrassing. No, Boon Shui. It was also funny. Ah, uh, shut up! And how you haven't turned into a chocolate sundae machine yet? You also ate at the date. Good question. Maybe because I froggin' rule. Nuh-uh. Date? Oh, <laughs> right, I haven't told you. Anne and I just started dating. I'm her girlfriend. I see. Marsha, Maddie, could you give us some privacy? There's a killer pillar cafe downstairs. Great tea. You must try the chamomile tea. Absolutely breathtaking. Cat cafe? Let's go, Mads. What I want to hear. I want to see a killer pillar too. Um, what is this about? In a second. Sit down. You two are old enough to drink, right? Yeah, but I shouldn't because you know. Oh, are you two expecting a human <coughs> cub? <coughs> what? No, her stomach! Oops, sorry. Jeez! So, you are dating my lieutenant. Tell me more about yourself. Oh my god. Which of these is the strongest?